Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This amendment authorizes the Federal Acceleration of State Technology, or FAST, commercialization pilot program at the Department of Commerce. The program would leverage Federal investments against States' efforts to help States support and grow their small manufacturing enterprises. Our Nation's small manufacturers are the lifeblood of American innovation and job creation, and States have a greater knowledge of where support for regional and local commercialization services are most needed and best employed. This pilot program takes advantage of that knowledge and furthers our national goal of creating more competitive companies by accelerating the commercialization of innovative technologies through State-based initiatives. In today's global economy, we need to support our competitiveness advantage, true innovation. The FAST program implements a recommendation by the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation to allocate more resources to commercialization activities and to support technology-based economic development across the country. They rightfully point out that States spend a fraction of their resources on creating new companies and more than $47 billion each year smokestack chasing. In order to grow a U.S. economy, we have to get beyond incentivizing a company to re relocate from one State to another and get to the business of creating more companies and more jobs overall. For example, the State of California has launched an innovation hub program called iHub that seeks to stimulate partnerships, economic development, and job creation around research clusters throughout the State, including my district in San Diego. iHub San Diego takes advantage of and builds upon the strength San Diego has in mobile health, biofuels, solar energy, and energy storage to promote new collaborations and shorten the commercialization process. My amendment would advance efforts such as California's iHub program, as well as the work of organizations like Connect, also based in San Diego. Barriers to commercialization can vary State by State, and this program would give flexibility to States to address these challenges State by State. The amendment also has several safeguards in place to help ensure the prudent use of funds that would be provided. For example, States are required to match the Federal funds provided, the program cannot duplicate other Federal efforts, and an evaluation is required to ensure the program is achieving its goals before the pilot program is continued. I would also note that this program is similar to a bill introduced by uh, former Republican Senator Bennett in 2010. We know that our foreign competitors are continuing to invest heavily in innovation. Commercialization is a startup's valley of death because the costs of bringing a new product to market. If we can help our startups overcome the valley, I am sure a greater number of promising technologies that can be made in America will come to the marketplace. I ask my colleagues to pass this amendment, which, though just a pilot program, would provide much needed investment to ensure that the U.S. remains a leader in innovation and job creation. When our constituents in our districts ask what is the future of American jobs, we should be able to say we are making every effort to support the creation of new products, new companies, and new American jobs. I urge my colleagues' support, and I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.